Hey guys, it's Merged. I found another, I think, psychological horror game on my Steam store. It's for free, and I just wanted to check it out. I don't really understand what it uh, could mean, but uh, I guess we're gonna find out what uh, the main character is into, so let's find out. My name? Merged. Actually, no. That's too basic. My name is Sigma. I am a he him. And I'm a Sigma. My friend's name? Jacob. My girlfriend's name? What the hell is this name? Uh. John Deere. Oh, I can't do John Deere. Shit. John Deere. You know what? That'll work. Alright, very blurry. That day I opened my locker and found a letter inside. It smelled like strawberries and was writ written in cute dotted pink paper. Sigma. Is this a, a love letter? No way. I had only seen things like this happen in TV shows and movies. Jesus Christ, that's so loud. Uh, I've always been looking at you from afar. I began to like you from the moment we first met, and I can't keep my feelings hidden anymore. Please come to the big cherry tree after class. I want to tell you how I feel. This is just me and Jacob's love story. Whoa! Could this be a prank? Nobody's ever confessed to me before. It's a short and sweet message, yet I still think I can feel this person's feelings. Should I go see them? <laughs> sigma. I am a Sigma. Okay, wow, that load was interesting. I decided that it would be disingenu- What the hell is this word? Disingenuous, or whatever the hell, to ignore it. That person must have gathered a lot of courage to be able to put their feelings into words. They knew they could get rejected, but they still put the letter in my locker. I want to at least give them a proper answer. Where are they? The handwriting looked like a girl's, but... I don't see anyone under the cherry blossom tree. Dot 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 dot. That's four dots. Nothing. Hmm, maybe this really was a... Eh, excuse me. John Deere. Ah. Sigma, you came. Okay, um... I think I've seen this girl around school. She's the cute underclassman who transferred here recently, but I've never talked to her before. Were you the one who put this in my locker? Y yes it was me. I- I'm very sother- so- Damn it. I'm very sorry for bothering you after school like this. I- I know we've never interacted before, so this might- Well. Dot dot dot. I can't lie about my feelings anymore. I- I like you. I've always liked you. Please go out with me. Saying that, she looked down shyly. I stared at her in shock. I was overwhelmed. How? Both by the confession and the fact that such a cute girl had feelings for me. Oh yeah, my beloved John Deere. Wait, wait. Most importantly, I didn't know anything about her. What's your name? She widened her eyes. Oh no, I... I messed up, didn't I? I didn't even introduce myself properly. It's okay. Let's start from the beginning. My name is Sigma. What's yours? I'm John Deere. Yay. John Deere. I, I don't know what to say. If I can be honest with you, I've never dated anyone before. Really? But, but you're so cool and nice and good looking. Yes, a Sigma who is good looking. It's a shock. Huh? I've always thought so, but because on the way to school I can't take my eyes off of you. 
You're so gentle with everyone who talks to you. It's magnetic. Th thank you. Now I was the one getting embarrassed. Nobody's ever said something like that to me before. She seemed like a nice person. Oh my god, this is so loud. You, even though we had just met, I liked her honesty. And most importantly, she was cute. I, I can hear your, er, oh, I'm wrong, I'm dumb. I, can I hear your answer, Sigma? I, the words left my mouth in a way that felt natural to me. Like, this is what's supposed to happen. Sure. I'll go out with you, John Deere. Ah. Then, John Deere looked straight at me. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy, and smiled. I'll be the best girlfriend ever, Sigma. Yay. What the fuck? That's how I met my girlfriend. My very, very cute and shy girlfriend. Okay. This game auto-saves your progress. Oh, thank God. It's been a few weeks since then. John Deere and I walk home from school together every day. We've been getting along well, and I've been thinking of asking her out on an actual date this weekend. I'm feeling a bit nervous about it. What if she doesn't want to? It's just like me to be anxious about. Yo, Sigma. Huh? <laughs> Jacob, why are you standing around and sulking? That's so like you. Good morning, Jesus, this one's so fucking loud. Good morning to you too, Jacob. This is my best friend, Jacob. We were practically raised together. I tried calling you so we could walk to school together, but your phone was off. Huh? No, it's not. Jacob grabbed her phone from her bag and realized that it wasn't on. Oh, oops. I can't believe you still have that doll trinket. My parents said I always have to keep it with me. Thanks to how heavy the doll is, I always notice right away when I forget my phone. Oh, I yawned. That's Jacob for you. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. I haven't told her about John Deere yet. I wonder if they could, they would get along. Wait for me, Jacob. That's definitely Jacob. He has blue hair. When we arrived at school, someone began to whistle at us. Classmate. Hey, it's Jacob and Sigma. Oh no, not again. So have you two tied the knot yet? What? What are you talking about? Knock it off. Oh, I burped. I'm sorry. Knock it off, dude. Come on. You two are always together. Everyone says you're like a married couple. Oh, me and Jacob are married. We're just friends. I almost read Sigma. I almost read we're just Sigmas. How many times do I have to say that? Ah ha ha ha. Right. Me and Sigma are only really good friends. Yep. Well, if you say so. But I still don't believe you. <laughs> hey. Saying that, our classmate ran away, giggling. Jeez, does he have to do this every day? I know, right? It's annoying how everyone thinks we're going out. I thought I heard Jacob say something, but I couldn't tell over the chatter of the students around us. Shoot, we're going to be late. Come on, let's go. So what is this game about? What am I supposed to be into? Dot dot. John Deere, are you okay? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. You've been a bit weird lately. Is something wrong? It's nothing. What? What, what is it? I don't understand. <gasps> After a few hours of class, lunchtime came. Lunch break. I wonder if John Deere would like to spend time with me. I usually spend it with Jacob. I want to tell her I won't be able to do it today, but... To fucking hell, it's so loud. Hey, hey, do you want to trade my rice ball for your melon bread? What the hell is melon bread? Sure, your rice balls are really good, Jacob. <laughs> Yes, Jacob, your rice balls are so good. My mom makes them. It's a secret that I'm trading with you, okay? Classmate 2. I'll personally go find your mom and tell her. 
Hee 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 hee. No! Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. Dot dot. She seems to be having fun with her other friends. Sigma. Dot dot dot. I'm such a lone Sigma. I can't follow their conversations. Our energy levels are completely different. I should go spend more time with my girlfriend. Yes, that's it. Yeah, it... Why aren't you doing that now, dipshit? I looked around the schoolyard for John Deere, but I couldn't find her. I did remember, however, that at this time of the year, sometimes they leave the door to the rooftop open. Jacob and I used to spend a lot of time here before we got chewed off by our homeroom teacher. Why? Ah, there she is. John Deere was sitting on the floor, huddled in a circle with some other girls. And then, and then, John Deere, you totally forgot about it, didn't you? That's right. We had to hurry back home and get it back before class started. It's a miracle you got to school in time. The teacher would have been so angry, but John Deere was back in no time. Hmm. I didn't want to let everyone down. You're too pure for this world, John Deere. What the fuck? It's decided. I will make the world my enemy to pre- to, Damn. To protect this fair lady. Damn, I can't read. Jeez. Cut it out. Sigma. <laughs> fucking face on me thinking about it a bit better i shouldn't interrupt them yeah john Deere will just feel bothered by me if i ruin her time with her friends i should go back to the classroom and eat alone real oh. <laughs> okay at least this isn't loud after class ended i waited for john Deere at the usual spot I ended up not eating my lunch. I felt nervous about everything and all my hunger went away. I wonder if she'd like to go on a date. But even so, I kept thinking about places we could go together. I've never felt like this about any another person before. John Deere! Sigma, sorry I'm late. It's no trouble at all, John Deere. I just got here myself. I'm glad. Um, I look forward to this time of the day every day. I... It's a bit embarrassing, but it's how I feel. Oh. So she really does like spending time with me? Dot dot dot. It's spring, so why is it so hot here now? Me too. I want to spend more time- Yo, Sigma. Can I borrow your notes from- Oh. Who's this? Darn it. Jacob. Jacob, this is John Deere. Hi. Cool. I didn't know you had friends other than me, Sigma. Hey now. You're all grown up. Jacob grinned joyfully. Anyway, sorry for interrupting. It's just that I slept through all of history class, so I'll send you my notes later. Rad. Thanks, Sigma. Oh, I didn't read it. What is Bye, John Deere. There she goes. Sorry about that. She's very social. It's okay. I have a very social friend, too. Oh, really? What kind of person are they? Well, I'd rather talk about us instead, you know. Oh, oh. Or oh, whatever. This fucking music. John Deere and I walked home together. It was just the two of us on the street. I decided that now is a good time to suggest a date. John Deere? Yes, Sigma. Here it goes. Do you have anything you... Damn, do you have anything to do this weekend? I can't read. I plan on staying home. Why? I just... Well, I was wondering if you'd like to watch a movie with me. This weekend, that is. Maybe Sunday? I'd love to. Really? I'll pick a good movie for us to watch then. Any movie would be fine for me as long as I can watch it with you, Sigma. John Deere said, looking down at her feet shyly. So cute. Could you text me your address? I'll pick you up and we can go to the movies together. That'd be sweet of you, Sigma. I'll text you right away. My parents aren't in town this week, but they told me I have to be home by 7 p.m. That's okay. We can go early. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Me too! We walked the rest of our way together and eventually went our separate ways. That night, I went on the internet to look for a movie that John Deere and I could watch together. She said she'd be happy with anything, but... I don't really know about her taste in movies and other stuff like music or food, and she doesn't know what I like either. There are romance, action, suspense, comedy movies, 
What if I pick something she doesn't like? I know a horror movie would be bad. It would ruin the mood if I choose something different, wouldn't it? Dot dot dot. So what do I pick? When I get in my head like this, it's tough to stop. My thinking began to go in circles until I somehow concluded that if I picked the wrong movie, John Deere would break up with me. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. I have to stop. I have to stop. I'll think about this tomorrow. What if someone... What if I ask for someone for help? Jacob knows a ton about movies. Yeah, it's better if I let someone who's into mainstream stuff, stuff pick a movie for me. Dot dot dot. I need to get some sleep. Tomorrow, I'll see what I can do. This game auto saves my progress. Yay. What the hell? I lowered the volume down really low. I didn't really notice that. Yawn. I had a really bad night's sleep. I hope I can pay attention to class properly. The sounds of rain. The sounds of the rain might... Oh my god. The sounds of the rain on might lull me to sleep. Sigma, you're alone today. That's unusual. Jacob and I aren't always together, you know. These jokes are getting on my nerves now that I'm dating John Deere. Eh? Really? You sure? Move away, please. <sighs> I sat on my chair and waited for class to begin. Everyone began to come in and we waited for the teacher to arrive. I don't know why I say things weird sometimes, to be honest. I just mess up too much. But he was late. And so was Jacob. She must have overslept, so I messaged her. The hell? The classroom's door opened, and the teacher came in. Everyone, sit down. But still no sign of Jacob. She hasn't seen my messages, either. This is weird. Did something happen to her? Before we begin, there is... Uh, something I need to ask you. We just received news that Jacob didn't come home from school yesterday. Has anyone heard from her? What? Oh shit. Huh? Jacob? Now that I think about it, her desk's empty. Didn't she come to school with Sigma? If anyone has any information on her whereabouts, please let a teacher know. Has she gone missing? Maybe a strange man offered her candy and kidnapped her. Hey, that's not funny! What? Missing? If she didn't go home... She left before me yesterday afternoon, didn't she? Jacob? Her parents must be worried sick. Everyone, please calm down. I can't pay attention to class like this. It's not... Oh, okay. Now it's raining. Dot, dot, dot. I'm worried about Jacob. I want to stop by her house and ask her parents about what happened. Where's John Deere? I sent John Deere a message asking if she'd mind if I walked home by myself today, but she didn't reply. What is this involving with the main characters, what they're into? Still no sign of John Deere. Hey, aren't you the person who's always waiting for John Deere here? Me? Uh, I guess. It's the girl I saw with John Deere the other day. She didn't tell you that she didn't come to class today? What? what John Deere too? To be honest... I've been a I've been a bit worried about her. She's living alone right now and I think she might be having trouble. John Deere and Jacob. What does this mean? I'm worried about both of them. Jacob is too nice for her own good. And John Deere, she usually replies to my text right away. This isn't normal of her. And she lives alone? So if she didn't come home yesterday either, no one would call the school about it. I need to know if John Deere is okay. Yeah. I think that's for the best. See you. John Deere's friend turned to leave, but she stopped and turned again to look at me. John Deere and you. Um. No, never mind. She'll tell us when she's ready to. Take care of her. Then she left. Dot dot dot. I'll call my mom and let her know I'll be taking a detour on my way home, then I'll try to find out about Jacob.
I arrived at the address John Deere sent me yesterday. I think this is the place. I rang the doorbell. That was so loud. No one came. Dot dot. Nothing. John Deere? I moved my hand to knock on the door. But it was already open. What? Okay. I ran inside. What the hell is going on? Um... John Deere? John Deere, are you there? All the lights were turned off. This house feels abandoned. The hell? Hello? John Deere? No matter how much I called her name, only silence answered my calls. John Deere! What if something happened to her, and no one was there here to help her? I don't like this piano, it's so loud. As panic began to set on my mind, I noticed that there was something on the ground. What? Oh my- wait, that's- this is Jacob's doll. Yeah. It's a gift I got her from the dollar store when we were kids. She always- always has it on her phone. She's never taken it off since then. Why would Jacob be- I reached down to grab the doll. Jacob and John Deere didn't know each other before yesterday. Why would Jacob come here? Unless... No, that can't be. Where are they? Should I take a look around? Uh... Maybe in the room to the left. I moved to take a look inside the room to the left of the hallway. The room was completely empty. It was dark, but I could see some dust on the floor. It looked like some furniture used to be here. Other than that, there was nothing of note. No sign of the other girls. Oh, no sign of either of the girls. What next? Should I take a look around? To the right, perhaps? I decided to take a peek inside the room to the right. The room? Empty, save for the cardboard boxes on the corner. Welcome me as I opened its doors. There was a bit of light coming from the windows. I could see that one of the boxes was open. Shh, what should I do? Look inside. My curiosity got the best of me. I walked into the room and looked inside the open box. These are... Inside there were a bunch of photo albums. Some were labeled with John Deere's name as I dug through the box. One of the photos fell on the floor. Oh no. I picked it up carefully. Uh... The picture showed John Deere's... What the fuck? It's getting louder and... And more obnoxious. The picture showed John Deere as a little girl holding hands with two adults, her parents maybe. I recognized the location it was taken. There's a bridge around here that offers a great view of the cherry blossoms in spring. This is so fucking loud. This must be an important memory. I should put it back. Yeah, you should. There's no sign that either of the girls were here. I should go back. What next? Should I take a look around? Just take a better look at the doll, that's all you can do. As I leaned down to examine the doll, I realized that there was something different about one of the floor tiles. What the fuck was that? Whoa. This is... a basement? And... Um... Sigma? What? What the? John Deere, what? What are you doing here with all this? I pinched my nose as a terrible smell began to infiltrate my nostrils. It was most likely coming from the various trash bags in the corner of the room. Why are you here? You weren't supposed to be here. I was worried because you wouldn't respond to my texts and... My eyes widened once I realized I was stepping on something. I took a step away and glanced down. Then... The dots finally began to connect. What is that? Uh, uh, uh... 
John Deere, you, it couldn't be. My mind went there, yes, but it couldn't possibly be the truth. Wait, is that Jacob's? John Deere, inside these bags, the fuck? That is so loud. I, er, is, is it, tell me, is it, is it Jacob? Yes. What the fuck? It's too late to pretend otherwise. I cut Jacob up into pieces and took out her organs one by one. All the blood that came out when I did, it made a huge mess of my uniform. I can't take it serious when her name is John Deere. Now I'm covered in her putrid liquids and her parts are decomposing in these trash bags. Wh why My question made John Deere smile. Because I love you, sick. <laughs> My mind struggled to understand what was happening. John Deere really did this? The shy and stuttering John Deere that walked in, walked home with me every day. You, you grotesquely murdered and cut apart my best friend because you love me? Yes. I love you. I love you so much, I'll get rid of anyone who might get in the way of our destiny together, Sigma. I am not reading all that. I love you so, so much, I can't stop smiling whenever I think of you calling my name again. I can't sleep at night because I can't help but stare at the pictures I took of you and I imagine all we could, all we could do together. And the thought of anyone thinking you belong to Jacob makes me so mad, so very, very, very mad. Because I love you. I lo I'm not reading all that. She's... John Deere is... She's smiling from ear to ear. John Deere, I... You killed Jacob, my best friend. You cut her into pieces because you love me? That's... That's just... What? That's so hot. Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, dear God. It's not... Uh... Eh? I've never been more attracted to a person before. Wait, what? John Deere? I've been keeping a secret from you, too. That's impossible. I know everything there is to know about you. No. There's something I've never told a single soul about. Not even Jacob. I began to smile. Oh, dear fuck. Gore really turns me on. I felt my smile getting wider and wider and a sense of unadulterated happiness rush through me. I've always really been into the grotesque oh, and serial killers and such. I even run a page on the dark web dedicated to real life gore. Oh, okay. What the fuck? I, what? So this is, this is just, I open my arms wide at John Deere's splendid work. This is the greatest gift. Wait, what? John Deere was caught off guard by my words. I don't, that wasn't the reaction I was expecting, but, but what? Sigma, you really think so? Yes, John Deere. I've never told anyone about this before. I've been keeping my interests a secret from everyone around me because I thought it would creep them out and make them hate me. No. I would never do that to you, Sigma. I love you just the way you are, John Deere. If your likes are weird, then I'm even weirder. The moment Jacob began to scream for her life as my knife cut her stomach open, I had so much fun. Okay, this is fucking weird. It almost compared to the fun I have watching you. God, that's really hot. Sigma, I was right. We were made for each other. Our fates were intertwined. I love you so much, Sigma. John, dear. I love you too. We are the perfect match. Let's be together forever just the way we are. What the hell?
Was that it? That was it, I think. Ending one. What? A match made in hell. Okay. Damn. There's multiple endings? Start again to get more endings. I'm not... Okay. Um... Honestly, I don't know if I really want to play this again. Uh, I, I don't really have the energy to start again, to be honest. But if people really want to see me get more endings, then sure, I'd be down. Just like the video and comment that you want to see a part two for whatever reason. Anyways, that was My Girlfriend Doesn't Know What I'm Into. And um, yeah, I definitely a weird one. The It's not bad, it's just... That's interesting, I guess. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Whatever video that is. And um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, for more content. Yeah. That's... That's gonna be it. Uh, see ya.